Okay. This is getting to you too much. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Slap down some cream cheese, twist it around, put in your ground beef from the night before, mix it around. You know what that sounds like. Don't ask me twice. Put in pickled jalapenos. There you go. Getting greasy, getting nice. Slap a tortilla, put it in a tortilla, form it, twist it up like a nice beef blunt. Once you get to the edge, give it a little hot swipe. That's going to create some adhesive. Slap her in some real nice oil, perfect temperature. Roll them around, crisp up all the sides and edges. Even those tip sides, swipe around some, you know, queso stuff and then stack on a plate. And then the next thing you know, you're eating these things. All right, yo, what is up and what is good with y'all? Sorry for my lack of vocal expression over the last little while. <laughs> I was just dealing with some shit. Some of those videos were pre-recorded from other times that I was going to stagger through like talking and then a no talking and but life got hectic and I just had them on deck, so they kind of rolled out. Anyways, um, this today is things I had in my fridge. I had some leftover beef that I needed to use. I had cream cheese that was on the cusp of going bad. And uh, I had some tortillas in the freezer that were kicking around for any sort of use. And in my head, I was like, crisp beef burritos, cream cheese, pickled jalapeno styles with a little like sort of cheese whiz queso and Valentina. So I have these here for props. We probably won't need that. Maybe we might, I don't know. I did run to the store just now because I was craving a, uh, a big old soda pop. So I have half root beer, half Dr. Pepper in here, but I've drank most of it. I do use these cups for a few days for tea though. I've been on tea lately, bunch of different teas. So I do have a little bit of pop in here, but uh, what I do have is these babies. These bubbly, crispy, crisp meat burritos. Now these are inspired by a place called Taco Time and uh, I'm ready to get into a bite. So let's get into a bite and have a little chat, okay? I got the props back for the thumbnail, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna mix up that cheesy Valentina queso all, all at once. That's a different type of lit sig these days. Not a sig we've lit before, but let's go ahead and She's hot, get this first bite. I hope the interior does not smoke my mouth, but let's do it. Wow. Beef and the cream cheese is coming through, definitely. Pickled jalapeno coming through, definitely. The oil temperature was absolutely perfect. Just when it was coming to, to kind of hot is when I went in, because with a tortilla, you are, there's a risk to burn. If it gets you want it just too hot, pop it in, just in instant burn. But wow. So, what's the inspiration for these? Well, A, like I said, taco time. They sell crisp meat burritos. They're thinner, same concept. No jalapeno, no cream cheese, just seasoned beef rolled in a tortilla, deep fried. This is much more substantial. I am going to get perspiration under the eyes. Just know that. What a cheesy, spicy. Ground beefy, <laughs> delectable treat. It's too good. 
All right, so a couple things to address. My life got a little hectic, a little weird. I won't go into the full detail in this video because I'm going to save it for another video. But I had some I had subscriber sponsored requests that one I had almost done basically, but I have to kind of read half redo it. I have another one I'm going to shoot tomorrow, which is good. That'll get done, and then I have one more that I'm going to shoot the next day. So. I'm back on target, I'm back on the mark. Uh, I just got off track for a little minute here in life. So I'm sorry to those who I've been disappointing. With the quiet vids. The complete no talking and some ASMRs. Although some people like those. So you cannot win in the world. Also, you'll see that I've been trying my hand at shorts. I'll be honest with you. The shorts format isn't my favorite. I'm definitely going to continue still my long form cooking videos. But if I can put up a couple shorts a week and they go crazy like some shorts do, that can drive more traffic potentially, right? So uh, full transparency. I don't mind the format. Is it going to become my full-time format? No way. The thing is this. TikTok happened. TikTok became a reality. Everybody on Instagram, TikTok, and now on YouTube, because all platforms catch up to the one that's leading, they always just adopt whatever they're doing and implement it. And especially in the food world, shorts are now like a formula. There's just a strategy. There's just those people that it's, it's like, it's just like crack cocaine. It's like, they don't even explain anything. They don't explain, explain the recipe. It's very fast, very ADD, very crack addict, very instant gratification. I like long form content. Hence why I like podcasts and like mukbangs and just things where people do things for longer than 30 seconds to a minute or whatever. But I understand quick recipe ideas getting banged out. So I understand the whole thing. I just don't want to become a dinosaur and get left behind. even though that's semi the reality of my channel anyways. But what I'm saying is, you know, if I can implement some shorts as, you know, a potential strategy to help with views, because some of them can go, it seems that YouTube likes to push them, you know? So people are getting 800,000 views, like 500,000 views. And I just want no much heat. I told you I would in like a day's time or whatever, right? Because it's a short, like it's just, it's such a easily consumed thing. So that's where I'm at with that. I just want to clarify that. I also needed to clarify my other inspiration for these. And that's 7 Eleven. on the roller.
these are 100% graduated 7-Eleven drunk late night stumble home eats. I don't know that I can honestly say that I've ever entered a 7-Eleven sober and thought to myself, hey, let's go over to the rolly section and get a bunch of the rolly stuff. You know what I mean? I really don't think it's ever entered my mind. Pretty sure the only thing I've ever really gone into 7-Eleven looking to buy is a bag of ice. Cigarettes, lighter, soda water, and some sort of pop beverage. Maybe a bag of chips. Almost everything else in the store is negligible. <laughs> However, there is the odd candy crave, a couple Twizzlers, maybe some Swedish berries, possibly some fuzzy peaches, or cherry blasters. And if it was a hot summer hangover day, a Coke slushy, or Dr. Pepper. Because that sugar, that cold ass sugar on a dehydrated drunk mouth, my lord and savior, goes straight to the main vein. Mm. These are phenomenal. For a random eat, a rando fridge creation, execution I think was perfect. So I say technique, all about technique. So in summary, this is going to hurt my butthole later. That's for sure. Okay. Maybe an overshare. Don't care. Went through a few things. We'll get to it. Subscriber sponsored outstanding requests coming down the pipe ASAP. And uh, these are delicious. Give them a try if you got the shit left over at home. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.